Okay, here's one for you to try. We have 7x plus 4y equals 10. x minus 4y plus 2z equals 6. y minus 2z equals negative 1. And I'm going to give just a little bit of assistance here before you start. Notice that we already have a nice equation here in just two variables, x and y. So if you can work to eliminate z in the second set, eliminate z, then you'll have a second equation in just x and y, and then you can use that to solve. So pause the video here and finish it out, and then we'll compare notes. Okay, so we're going to eliminate z. So let's do it. So we can call this row 1, row 2, row 3, and if we just do row 2 plus row 3, look how the z's are already so nicely lined up in this example. That gives us, so I'm just going to copy these, x minus 4y plus 2z equals 6. We also have y minus 2z equals negative 1. We add those two up. What do we get? Well, the x, there's nothing to add it to here, so we just get x here. You can think of that as x plus 0 equals x. Negative 4y plus y gives us negative 3y. The z's cancel out. That's what we intended to have happen. And we have 5 here. So now we have two equations with two unknowns. So let's take both of those together and create a new system. So we have 7x plus 4y equals 10. And we have x minus 3y equals 5. OK. And now we can solve using the addition method. We could use substitution here. Right, both are pretty good methods. I think I'm going to use the elimination, uh, also known as the addition method here. So let's multiply this whole thing by, down here, by negative 7. Do you see how doing that, it will allow me to cancel these x's? So we're going to focus on x's here. All right, so doing that, that gives us, the top stays the same, 7x plus 4y equals 10. The bottom, though, becomes negative 7x plus 21y equals minus 35. Okay. Add them up. The x is canceled. That's what we meant to have happen. We get 25y equals, let's see here, negative 25. Divide by 25. That gives us y equals negative 1. All right. 1 down. Continuing on, since we since we have missing variables up here, we can plug in in the original. So I'm going to take this y equals negative 1. I'll plug in right here to get z. So we have negative 1 minus 2z equals negative 1. Adding 1 to both sides gives negative 2z equals 0. Divided by negative 2, z equals 0. There's 2. Well, let's, let's go ahead and plug in this negative 1 up here as well. So I'm just going to plug in negative 1 right there. All right, that gives us 7x plus 4 times negative 1 equals 10. Well, 7x, this is negative 4. I'm adding that to both sides. 7x equals 14, so x equals 2. There's our third variable solve for. So our answer then, we write it as an ordered triple. x is 2, y is negative 1, z is 0. There we go.